right. Ugh, I feel a bit better then. I'll keep talking to him. How is everything? To stand side by side with a noble soul like you, dear friends, is a great honor. The knights tend to operate in solitude, spreading the grace of the goddess far and wide across the universe. Nevertheless, we follow the same code of chivalry. One and only is the name of my spaceship. I must admit, keeping her in good order can be a chore. Perhaps I shouldn't have etched such intricate patterns into the fuselage. If I may, Miss March. Just as the data bank requires updating, so I must keep evolving. Leave the past behind. The future beckons my thoughts. We mustn't cling to the past. I will choose my own path. One cannot pick and choose their recollections. My past is unalterable. The unrest within me seeks an escape. Hmm. The future is unknowable. But I have a choice. I will pay I will pay the price for this power. Proceed with caution. I've got your back. Lend me your aid, Mr. Yang, with your intricate tactics and far-reaching vision. If I may, Miss March, allow me to use my modest power to get rid of the gloom. Miss Himiko, with your courage ablaze, the stars seem to shine even brighter. I'm counting on you to wrap this up, Himiko.
Dragon Lady, if you have any energizing potions at hand, could you set aside some for me? Thank you. Huo Huo, you're here. How's work? Under control? And tail. Not causing trouble, I hope. Huh. Ev every stroke penned by a judge is tied to infinite karmic outcomes. One must proceed with great care. It's, it's been a while. How have you been? I can't say I've been doing well lately myself, but that's normal for me. again. Hmm. Something seems off. Pom Pom already selected a route. We've seemingly gone off course. Stay vigilant. There might be a magnetic field nearby in... So... <laughs> March. The Express encountered an obstruction. Uh, the Express was struck from behind by another vessel. Uh, how do you crash into someone in space? Another vessel in our vicinity encountered the same obstruction and was unable to control its velocity. After the collision, two individuals found their way onto the Express. Guests? I don't think they're here for tea. They appear to be friendly. Oh, if they're here to stir up trouble, I'll teach them a lesson. Let's go check it out. I'm with you. Let's wait and see. Will of preservation. Another anomaly in this shining universe. A blooming splash of colors. You are truly beautiful. Uh, hmm? uh, uh, uh. A lady? Uh, <laughs> I offer a sincere compliment. You're akin to a flower in winter. Oh? Uh, Another beautiful uh, soul. Uh, uh. Allow me to introduce myself. 
I am Argenti. I belong to the Knights of Beauty. May I know your names? Indeed, and I extend my deepest apologies for doing so. I wish to remedy the situation, hence my arrival on the Astral Express. Uh, now we know he didn't do it on purpose. Hi, Argenti. I'm March 7th. An honor. I was just explaining the significance of beauty to this foliage. Uh, pardon my abruptness, but I have a habit of asking questions. As fellow beings of this universe, are you acquainted with Idrilla the Beauty? Do you doubt such an assertion? You need not, young... Both my words and actions come from the bottom of my heart. You are indeed beautiful, like flowers blooming in the morning sun. Do you doubt? Both my words and actions come from the bottom of my heart. You are indeed beautiful, like flowers blooming in the morning sun. Yes, though not exclusively. Young sir, now that you know something of the beauty, I wonder, can you resonate with this philosophy and place your trust in Idrilla? I understand. Young sir, with all due respect, I believe you refuse to acknowledge the beauty simply because you lack knowledge on the subject. I cherish different ideas. But judging from this situation... Since you do not understand the beauty, I will have to show you in a way that only a knight can. I earnestly request a chivalrous contest with you. Should I be fortunate enough to triumph, I ask you to acknowledge Idrilla the beauty as the most peerless beauty of all. No, you do not have to. This is merely an unspoken rule for battles between knights. I apologize. We, the knights of beauty, hope to convince people through battle, not poetry. Forgive me for my lack of eloquence. That which is seen, Why are you fighting? Communicating with others can be a most difficult endeavor. It is through action alone that we can convey our intent. Faith. May you understand beauty. Lance at the ready. Stand still. Good times. No time to say bye. Name of Landau, a will forged in ice. Never falters! You are fighting a gentleman. Is that all? <clears throat> Nothing major. Yeah. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! <laughs> Hit her to the challenge. I'll see you off. <laughs> I'm on guard. This ends here. Challenge. Behold, the symbol of pure. Is that all? May as well kill them all. Good time. Never left. Time to say bye. Boom. Christ to the challenge. Stand still. In the 
name of Landa will forged in ice. Never falters! Let the duel commence. Let time lord. Say bye to breathing. <laughs> Eternal sleep. The dead return! Your plans are blaze. Land! Forward! Put forth all your might! Uh, sorry to interrupt whatever's happening here. Forgive the interruption, but I just spoke with Himako. The situation is more urgent than we imagined. You're welcome. Just doing my job. My deepest apologies, Mr. Yang. My concentration has been solely centered on my conversation with him. Now, I was piloting the one and only through the galaxy when I discovered Velite. And I, upon saving Velite, I altered my flight course to accompany. According to him, he is an IPC worker. I believe he's currently resting in the carriage. He is still in a state of shock. He swore to follow Adrilla the goddess after being impressed by what he saw during our adventure. There was a sudden jolt not long after we had departed. I was sure we must have collided with some unknown celestial object. When I looked outside, everything was different. That was when we collided with the Express. And that is why I boarded the Express with Velite. I am hoping to solve this crisis with you. Thank you for coming. It'll be a first for the Express to work alongside the Knights of Beauty. Enjoy the present moment. Continue to enjoy the present moment. You misunderstand. I must first wholeheartedly enjoy the Red Knight of the Universe before I can discover an inharmonious pitch. These two things are correlated. Once I discover the cause, I shall destroy it. Well, try not to take too long. Things could deteriorate at any moment. Uh, could you please go check on Velite? He looks uneasy. He is a guest of ours, after all. Young sir, may I help you? I am currently enjoying the present moment. <clears throat> Could you please go check on Velite? He looks uneasy. He is a guest of ours, after all. Let me see if there are any clues nearby. What a fascinating encounter. <sighs> what was that all about? <sighs> it does seem like you're on better terms after the fight. How do we stand? <sighs> what is it? Here to cheer me up? I'm just a small-time IPC worker. That Argenti rescued me. I don't know anything, and I can't help you guys. <sighs> I want to go home and have dinner. <laughs> Did Argenti tell you that? Oh, that guy is unbelievable. Before he rescued me, he said something like, You must pledge to acknowledge Adrilla, the beauty, as the most peerless beauty of all. I told him I'd marry her if he'd like, as long as he got me out of that stinking cave first. 
<laughs> he refused. I couldn't believe it. My life was on the line, so I just repeated after him. Uh, then he corrected me. It's a, who came up with such an awkward sounding name? I'm a pencil pusher. What the heck do I know about the eon of beauty? But of course, I repeated a drill of the beauty, just like that. <laughs> do you think I like being negative? <laughs> My friend, this is what's known as falling prey to the grim reality of life. Understand? When I was young, I ass What do you think? Do rich people make forced vows in caves? I gave up my unrealistic dream of becoming a pilot and worked for the IPC instead. I guess I'm living the life of a supporting character now. But after running into Argenti, I had an idea. Perhaps I could make some money with him and turn my life around. He's tall, handsome, and a knight. Packaged and marked, I told him about my idea that he could advocate for the beauty while also incorporating currency as a notion. I'm planning to contact the marketing development department as soon as I'm off the air. You're right. I don't know what his rank among the knights is, but he is quite powerful. So when can I get off the express? I need you guys to solve this traffic jam problem ASAP. Are you even listening to me? Ugh. All right, I have nowhere else to be. Let's go. Ah! Huh? What was that sound? Did someone scream? Young sir, may I help you? I am currently enjoying the present moment. Jolt just now damaged the express? Did something manage to sneak in? Do we know where the sound came from? It sounded like it came from the passenger cabins. Or the conductor's cabin. But those are in opposite directions. How about we go check our own rooms? Uh, read the room. Enough with the mean jokes. Now's the time for action. I'm gonna go check my room. If there's a problem, I'll let you know. March has a point. Pom Pom will go check the conductor's cabin. your past, the things you want to see, to touch, to know. Your home, family, friends, emotions, what you love and what you despise. Ah! I'm the complete March 7th, with all of your forgotten memories. Uh, who are you? Why do you look exactly like me? Why did you stop talking? Oh, what kind of creepy... March, March, can you hear me? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, my phone. Himeko, there's something really weird happening. I know. March, get out of there right now. But... Have you left the room? Did something happen to March? Not good. I need you and Don Hung to check on March. I'll accompany you. Velite, you too. What? 
All right, if things get dangerous, I'll hide behind you. The inharmonious pitch has surfaced. Honor compels us to vanquish this dissonance. Good times. Time to say bye. of land a will forged in ice never falters not a scratch say bye to breathing See you off. Receive divinity. You have my gratitude. I'm on guard. <laughs> Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Land out will forged in ice. Never falters. May as well kill them all. <laughs> you chose the wrong enemy. Eternal sleep is not the dead return. at all. Envision seeing true stings again. Huh? There was a whole bunch of those bugs chasing me when Argenti found me in the cave. I was under the impression that I had successfully routed all of them. However, it appears that the stings continue to pursue us. Could it be? Velite, perhaps you still bear sting pheromones on your body. What is that? Is that bad? Yes, I I've read about true stings in the data bank. They emit fibrous particles from their wings during flight, the inhalation of which can induce perceptual distortions and hallucinations. I I'm afraid March may have inhaled some of these particles. And that's why she saw another version of herself in the room. So that was just a hallucination? Huh. Why do I feel kinda disappointed? Wait, I thought hallucinations.
hallucinations were supposed to be completely random. Why did I see an identical me? Did it do anything strange? It said it knew about my past. And then it stopped talking. I'm afraid that's not enough information for us to draw a conclusion. My concern is that numerous things may have already infested the Express. Their elusive nature helps them stay in the shadows, but they may also be roaming freely. We have to prevent them from propagating. If not... Oh, I don't want to see a bunch of marches roaming around the Express. One of me is enough. <sighs> We're on the same page. isn't good. Evidence of a swarm is apparent, and it looks like several eggs are on the verge of hatching. They're embryos for now, but their transformation into larvae could be imminent, and their growth may exceed our initial estimates. This is a race against the clock. Check around the express.
What are you up to? Any progress? They're embryos for now, but their transformation into larvae could be imminent, and their growth may exceed our initial estimates. procedures in place? Oh, uh, now that you mention it, Pom Pom does have a backup measure. We'll need... Hmm, this mobile express cleaner should come in handy. I was planning to use it to sweep the express's ceiling during spring cleaning. It's got a nifty wide-angle lens on it. Once we zip it up into the air, we'll have eyes on the whole scene. Not a single nook or cranny will be able to hide from us. I mean, I know this isn't what it's meant for, but we have no other choice. If you think you can do this, I'll start piloting. Watch carefully. I'll be cleaning out the nooks and crannies as we go. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Where do you want to check first? the time. 
time for relaxing. Let's check somewhere else. Hmm, nothing out of place here. I take it for a spin? This little gadget could be the next big thing in spaceship cleanliness. Even Argenti could put his name to it. I'll jot that down. Uh, let's carry on. creature that he mentioned. Uh, does it bother you that people deem you cute? Believe me when I say that you are more than cute, my friend. You are a delightful ball of pure charm. Needless to say, it is an honor to encounter beings such as yourself. But I shall never give up my spiritual training. If this crisis cannot be averted, I shall die for the glory of the night! What's going on? Why is he chatting with these bugs? Uh, I think he's also fallen into a hallucination. Is he seeing another him? I don't think so. I think he may be perceiving an unfamiliar presence. Well, let's go see. beings are you disciples uh, he looks beyond saving <sighs> he could be in considerable danger let's proceed good times never time to say bye You chose the wrong enemy. Stand still. Hope you're prepared. In the name of land, we will forged in ice. Never falters. at all.
Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. Eternal sleep is not the dead return. You have my gratitude. Repay. Nice teamwork. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Lance at the ready. Lenda will forged in ice. Never falters. <laughs> Receive divinity. Nice teamwork. Eternal sleep. The dead return. I must apologize. I cannot believe that such a beautiful creature was merely a hallucination. Its deceptive and threatening nature is much uglier than its appearance would suggest. You mentioned this thing transformed into an object of beauty, something that he once spoke of, but that you never personally encountered. Yes, it was something he mentioned that I wanted to see in person. I see. This, together with the fact that March's hallucination claimed to know her past, suggests that these visions feed on people's subjective experiences and long-term sentiments. Ah. So, in Argenti's eyes, Wubaboos are a thing of beauty. But my past isn't something I'm constantly thinking about. I have plenty of other dreams. That's not how it works. The desire to know your past embodies purity itself, a thing of immense value. I wonder if the dying words of those ugly menaces can be trusted. As the saying goes, even an insect speaks kind words when death is near. Are you implying that the insect imparted you with a message prior to its demise? Correct. Its final words were, Celebrate this superficial victory, for you will never be able to acknowledge the existence of the Overlord. Uh, let's ignore the fact that you understand insect speak for now. That sentence... Uh, wait, I think I understand. When reading through the chronicles of interdimensional insects in the databank, I came across a species that had only been described in records. Due to the lack of research samples, the author gave it a tentative name. Giant Sting. This species can reach tremendous proportions and is big enough to swallow an entire star knot. I believe the Overlord Argenti mentioned could be referring to this colossal being. And we're... I think I understand. We are in the belly of the beast. Yes. That's my theory. I see. That would explain what Velite and I experienced earlier. What do you mean? Did Velite mention that he was trapped in a dark and enormous cave when we first met? Now that I think on it, we did hear sounds akin to swallowing and 
other movements from the cave. Yes, and your flight path happened to intersect with the Express's star rail, meaning we might have encountered the very same giant sting. Now, we need to see if we can prove the theory correct. It looks like our theory has already been confirmed. Let's talk to Mr. Ye. Meeting all of you, I, Argenti, can die without regrets. Oh, never mind. I'm fine with silence. How's it going? Has there been any progress? Let me explain the situation. I see. If the Express has been swallowed, then perhaps we could try pushing the Express's engine into a temporary state of overload and, and use the momentum to burst out of the giant sting's body. Warp jumping requires a lot of preparation, and it might alert the swarm. It would be risky. The engine might overheat and burst into flames. Still, I don't have any better ideas. I am not fond of this idea. Uh, could it fail? In a word, uh, yes. The outer components of the Express may well be melting in gastric acid as we speak. It would seem our enormous, hideous enemy is right outside. Ah, oh, no! So my teddy bears and bunnies are gonna be liquefied by stomach acid? I've had them for ages! I need to find a way to save them! Let's stay calm. I need some time to check the engine with Himako. For now, just try and take your minds off the situation. It's all right. We're in this together. <sighs> Have you noticed? Morale on the Express is low. Desires? <laughs> I don't have any desires. I'm busy working every day. Come to think of it, maybe the IPC made me immune to hallucinations. Desires? <laughs> I don't, I'm busy working every day. Even if I did have one, it's been long forgotten. Come to think of it, maybe the IPC made me immune to hallucinations. How is this even possible? I've been swallowed by a cave twice now. Is this my destiny? Uh, we need to get out of the sting's stomach as soon as possible. Pom Pom doesn't want the express to sustain damage. Everyone, just calm down. Calm yourselves, all of you. I'm bidding farewell to this flora. After having made friends with all the beings on the Express, and having discussed the beauty with each of you, I can now depart this mortal coil without regret. 
Ugh, can you and the fern get a room already? How can anyone establish a bond with a houseplant? Although, I guess you could say the same about me and my teddy bears. The Express is home to all of us. No matter what happens, we're in this together. Woohoo! You're back! Although, I guess that doesn't change our odds. Who knew our first meeting would be our last? <sighs> it's hopeless. I'll just spend the rest of my short life listening to your ramblings about the Express, I suppose. Nonsense! This won't be our last meeting. But I'm happy the Express has started to grow on you. Now, where should Pom Pom start the story? Are you really about to tell a story? Look, it's been nice meeting you and all, and I'd love to shoot the breeze. But are you people really just going to give up? Velute, I will escort you to your destination. A knight always keeps his word. <laughs> Don't assume you can reassure me that easily. I've got a heart of stone, you hear? Okay, that's enough. In times like this, we should be trying to give each other hope. No. The Express is strong. I'm sure we can think of something. Desires? <laughs> I'm busy work. Come to think of it. Followed by a giant. It's all right. We're in this together. It's all right. We're in this. <sighs> it's rare to see March genuinely worried, but given the circumstances. Maybe you could try reassuring some of the crew. The Express has faced all kinds of obstacles on its journey. Today is just another one. It's no reason to stop trailblazing. Such is the very essence of trailblazing. It is through these trials that we find wisdom and maturity. I've completed the engine inspection. Though the warp device isn't immediately operational, I believe we can still manage brief spurts of acceleration. Unless there are any major objections, I'll begin preparations. Mr. Yang, one moment, please. I've suddenly happened upon an idea that might just help resolve our crisis. While the Express is being prepared, I would like to speak with him in private. <sighs> Seriously? Can't you just tell all of us? Were I to air such a proposition among you, verily, it would be dismissed in an instant. Yet, as a knight, it is my duty to aid the Express in resolving this issue. Oh, so you're a mind reader now, too? At this stage, any plan has a plan worth hearing. March, uh, hang fire. Let's see where this leads us. Thank you. This is really a curveball. You couldn't make it up. The exterior of the Express might be melting in gastric acid. I can't even imagine what it must look like. The exterior... It's all right. We're in this together. Desires? <laughs> I'm busy working every day. Come to think of it.
<sighs> I apologize for being so abrupt. You must find me strange for wanting to speak with you alone. I will tell it to you straight. I have a strong sense that, as a knight of beauty, I have a duty to fight this battle. I propose that I disembark from the Express to confront the giant sting directly. My strategy is to pierce its stomach with my lance, triggering spasms that may cause it to eject the Express. It is challenging for me to articulate this phenomenon. Yet, when I observe certain entities, an indistinct sensation of beauty arises from my core, discernible only by instinct. Perhaps my long solitude traversing the cosmos has made it difficult to discern where these sentiments originate. But as a knight, I realize my obligation is to safeguard the seed that embodies beauty, standing as a bulwark to defend it against all. The Astral Express is that seed. It feels warm, like a home to me. I am certain this is thanks to the strong friendship you have with one another. That is why I must swear to fight to protect this warmth rather than be protected by it. I am willing, time and time again, to protect these seeds of beauty, to allow them to bloom into pure and radiant flowers, to demonstrate my devotion to them. It is an inherent part of the journey of Argenti. In the pursuit of defending beauty, I have bled into unconsciousness. And in the ensuing stupor, I have witnessed countless times their traces spreading from beneath my feet, reaching into the unknown before me. My rational mind tells me no, yet my heart tells me to believe. In those past hallucinations, I kept running. Their footprints on the mire-ridden path moved me to a sadness beyond tears. And every time, I was a breath away from catching a glimpse of their figure. Yes, this is my wish. It is a never-ending cycle of falling and standing up again. Each time I wander closer to death, it gets me closer to the path the beauty once walked. This is my vow as a knight of beauty. We were interrupted halfway through our battle. As a warrior, articulation has never been my forte. Yet, I still needed to impart the remaining half to you. I apologize. I have been rambling. As I said, articulation has never been my forte. Let us return to the point at hand. Do I have your support? You do. Thank you. Your understanding is more precious than any treasure. I have faced many a traveler, encountered flattery and provocation aplenty. It is rare to find a spirit as pure as yours. In that case... Please forgive my inappropriate manner. Our friendship is new, but was forged in the heat of battle, which I only wish we had been able to conclude. 
I hope now we may conclude it still, that I may leave without regret. I shall prove my will with the blade, defend my honor, and uphold my dignity with the protocol of combat. Win or lose, I will accept the outcome, and thus bid you farewell. My friend, it is an honor to fight against you. Is that all? Get complacent. Relax. Good times never last. Time to say bye. I'm on guard.
Don't lose momentum. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Behold the symbol of pure. <laughs> I'm on guard. Rise to the challenge. Eternal sleep is a dead return. You are fighting a gentleman. Let's I'm Lord. I underestimated you. Lance ablaze. Name of land will forged in ice. Never falters. Stand still. Is that all? Put forth all your might. Nothing major. Good time. Never left. Time to say bye. Boom. Bear witness. To let the duel commence. Confess. Put forth all your might. Is that all? Boom. Thanks. You're too good to me. Eternal sleep and dead return. <laughs> Relax. Hope you're prepared. In the name of Landau, the will forged in ice never falters. Lance ablaze. Fighting a gentleman. Put forth all your might. You chose the wrong enemy. Stand still. Eternal sleep and dead returns. Good times never last. Time to say bye. This ends here. Relax. Bear witness. To let the duel commence. <laughs> Confess. Put forth all your might. Scratch. Mage Bloom. Say bye to breathing. Lands at the red. Name of land. A wheel forged in ice. Never falters. Lands ablaze. Eternal sleep and dead return! Stand still. Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. Behold, this symbol of peel. You are fighting a gentleman. I'm on guard. you off. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
the wrong enemy. the wrong enemy. Your demeanor, strength, and the etiquette of your combat. I admit, you have won me over. Extraordinary and enjoyable in equal measure. Encountering an opponent of your caliber proves the existence of the beauty. <sighs> the end of our battle signifies my departure. The moment has finally arrived for me to bid farewell to the Express. Dear friend, I assure you, I am not a reckless person. I will ready myself for the opportunity to escape. I came to the Express to help you find a solution to this crisis. When my mission is complete, I shall venture back into the cosmos. But the cosmos is boundless. We may yet have another encounter. Excellent, dear friend. After completing my mission here, I shall find somewhere else that requires my protection. Worry not. As a knight, I bear the resolve and honor of assured victory. My body, tempered by countless battles, will not easily be broken. <sighs> Such a brief, fortuitous encounter. It has been an honor knowing each and every one of you on the Express. <sighs> Let's go talk with the others. So brief, so unexpected. The chance to get to know all of you on the Express. To witness the beauty of your emotions is something I'll never forget. Wants 
to leave the express and fight the giant sting alone? Desires? <laughs> I don't have any. I'm busy. Come to think of it. The outer wall of the express is probably... <sighs> he insisted on doing his duty. So, uh, how did you talk with Argenti go? I see. Based on our dealings with him so far, I can't say I'm overly surprised. Sounds like the kind of plan a younger me might have come up with. But that doesn't mean I approve of it. <sighs> how do you see things? I suppose it all depends on how you see his understanding of and devotion to the beauty. If you're certain... So, uh, I see. Based on our dealings, I trust your judgment. <sighs> I took a nap just now? I dreamt there was another V piloting Argenti's one and only. What's wrong with me? I never dream. After stealing Argenti's spaceship, I said to myself, Go find Argenti. I'm not the type to start caring about people I've only just met. The dream made me feel a little uneasy. So what on earth is Argenti up to, anyway? Huh? What? He wants to fight that huge bug on his own? So all that talk of departing the mortal coil and bidding farewell to a planet, that was all serious? You refused him, right? Nonsense, me! Care about him! <laughs> Impossible! But if he dies, how am I going to turn my life around? I don't understand why he chose to die when he could live! Why is he so stubborn? All right, fine, I care about him. Ugh, why is he so difficult? Are his beliefs more important than his life? No way, I've got to talk some sense into him. It all depends on whether you support his dedication to that hallucination. <sighs> he insisted on doing... After jumping from the express, I shall pierce the wall of the giant sting's stomach. It should then violently convulse so the express can escape the confines of its body. Velite, have you something to say? It's reckless to put yourself in danger. Do you really have to fulfill your knightly duty? Isn't there another way? I just don't get it. You too are worried for my safety. You may not have realized, but you have a unique and noble soul. I hope I can keep my promise to escort you to your destination. You... What the heck? Fine. I can be brave too, you know. If you insist on doing this, then I'm coming with you. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be alive right now. I may not be as strong as you, but... But I'll do whatever I can. I appreciate that. But it would be best for you to remain on the Express. I... You... Mm, you're impossible. Fine. It suddenly struck me that if it weren't for this accident, we would never have met, let alone become friends. My life is a third-rate fiction next to your heroic saga, but at least they coincided. So you still want to do it? Are we going to say goodbye here? Then... Don't die! I'll be waiting for you. After we fix this mess, you've got some spokesperson duties at my company to attend to. Just make sure you come back in one piece. Do not worry. 
you will hear my shout. Idrilla the Beauty is the most peerless beauty of them all. Once the Express is safely out, I will devise my own exit plan and navigate my way to safety. Until next time, having witnessed this spectacle, I am sure you will come to grasp the depth of my convictions. In the sanguine, eternal night of the universe, my existence professes a loyalty greater than the guileless. No, this is a hallucination caused by the giant sting. The commotion must have led to a great shedding of wing particles. Huh? Oh, then maybe the insect wasn't that big? Maybe it was all an illusion? I'm afraid not, March. Genty would think these fireworks were really beautiful. 